everyone, just let me adjust my my phone here. Uh, 22 minutes of recording time. Cool. Anyway, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, a couple months ago, I was well back in the beginning of, of summer. I was or I tried to order a scope from a seller on eBay and. Like the story goes, uh, when I did the video before, uh, that scope, for some reason, went to uh, Manitoba and was delivered to an address there, and I never seen the scope, but I got my money back for it. And right after that, I used that money to buy another scope, and as it turns out, the scope I buy from this guy, I get uh, taken for the money that it I spent on the scope. It was a 4 to 16 by uh, 42, I think, or 44. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I wasn't the only one who got taken. Everybody who the, who bought this guy's stuff got taken. But I reported him to eBay or to PayPal right away, and I did get my money back for that. So this scope here from the seller that I was originally going to buy the scope from. Uh, I ended up getting the scope. It was, uh, I think, fourteen dollars more, and I'm actually quite happy with the scope. This is a, a nice scope. Uh, this is a four and sixteen by forty-four AO IR Nobot. Uh, this, what surprised me the most about this scope was uh, it only took two weeks to get here from China, which is unheard of. You, you, you don't get stuff from China that quickly ever. I'll show you the scope now. You see, it's a BSA black powder. That's just the model number, I guess, or the model name, black powder. The scope itself comes with see through high mount mount rings. Op some optional sunshade, aluminum. manual and scope itself it's illuminated red green flip up scope caps on it which the, the objective and the, it doesn't really fit snugly I'm going to probably put one band of uh, electrical tape around the end so we'll stay on snug. I said it is a mill dot but it's a duplex radical mill dot like a traditional rifle scope is. It is uh, parallax adjustable with AO adjustable objective. It's uh, adjustable from five yards right to infinity and I've already looked through it down here at my target and I can go all through the magnification, 4 to 16 power, and my sight picture, my target's clear on, on the, the 5 yard setting, which is cool. One thing I don't like about the scope is when you put the sunshade on. If I want to use uh, the flip-up scope cap, I can't have this on here because it doesn't fit. It's too big. So I'll have to get a, another scope cap for this for this end if I want to keep it on. Which I would like to keep it on because that's the whole purpose. I, that's one of the reasons why I got this scope because it came with the sunshade. And it's like a, a muzzle brake kind of sunshade. It's cool. It's got the... A lot of threads apparently. Yeah. The easy drip turrets instead of having the it'd be nice if it had the non screw off cap type turn finger turrets, but it doesn't. The scope was sixty bucks total. Like I said, it only took two weeks to get here. I'm putting this on my hot son one twenty five pH. 
I figure I put the 4 of the 16 on that one, and because my other hot song has uh, the other 4 to 16 by 42 on it. And I'm going to take the 2.5 to 10 off of that and put it on my 177 for now, because I plan on getting a 6 to 24 for that one. Or I might even just get another one of these for, for the 177. Really don't need uh, 24 power. Well, I don't anyway. I don't ever get out to shoot at her. I was going to put this on tonight, but uh, it's getting too late. I might. You never know. But the other scopes I was getting, none of them came with uh, mounting rings. Which mounting rings are, is really isn't a problem. I got a I got a whole bunch of mounting rings here, but it's nice when they offer them. It's nice to have that uh, added bonus, if you will. I haven't really been doing much with air guns at all lately. waiting to get all my parts to finish my 2240 or um, actually my 2250 XL is what it's going to be and I got some of those parts here but about the scope anyway I don't think this is a true BSA scope I was on BSA's website the, the day I got it and I cannot find a 4 to 16 by 44 AO EYS whatever the easy I don't know what EYS means it's not that it's not that's for theoretical I know that but I couldn't they have a, a few uh, 4 to 16s but not a 4 to 16 by 44 they got 40s and 42s and in the black powder series from BSA they they don't even have a 4 to 16 so I think this is a clone. More than likely is because the, the the scopes on BSA's website are like 200 pounds, which is what 300 and some odd dollars Canadian. I, I think I don't know. I don't know what the conversion is. But I don't care. Apparently, everybody who has these scopes say they're pretty good. And obviously it's obviously air rifle rated because it's got an adjust adjustable objective on it. Most rifle scopes like for center fire and 22s and all that, rim fire, they don't have adjustable objectives on them. Yeah, so that's the scope. I got these the other day. All this stuff I ordered at the end of, uh, between the 20th of, the, of October to the first week of November and I got all the stuff while I was away hunting which was uh, the third, no the, I left the first to the second Thursday of, of, of October that's right yeah I ordered, I ordered a lot I ordered quite a oh I, I'm screwing up myself up here I couldn't have gotten all this if I hadn't order, ordered it yet. But these, I know, I ordered these at the, the end of October. Along with these screws and stainless scrub screws. So I can fill a while. Uh, uh, rear sight screw holes in on my air rifles. I got two of these. These are 11mm uh, to 20mm uh, Weaver adapter. I got these to, I got one set to put on my uh, Zisco under lever. I also got a laser culminator to bore sighter. Because you can't find the, well you can if you go to a gun store. Uh, actual ones you put on the end of the barrel that has the crosshairs inside, it's like a scope. The Bushnell makes them and uh, I think Tasco makes them too. This is a when you put, oh it's aluminum, I haven't even taken this out of the, the box yet. The laser culminator, yeah, put, comes with uh, all, all the ones I've seen on uh, eBay for 22 to 50 caliber. 
and then I come across this one, which was cheaper than the 22 to 50 calibers. This one's 177 to 78 caliber. So this I can actually use this for a 12 gauge if I wanted to. I like how it says batteries not included, but in the package are three batteries, all the adapters, screwdriver, Allen key, instructions, all that kind of stuff. I think it was only six bucks. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet so you can see if it works. It should work. But yeah, I'm going to put that scope on the 125th and use the bore cider to, to get it at least on paper at eight yards. Since my last video, I've gotten a new washing machine and my hot water heater blew and everything was soaked down here because I guess the the uh, a hole ate through the bottom and there was just water everywhere down here. Well, what, the basement wasn't flooded, but a lot of the clothes that you've seen here before are gone because they were all soaked and uh, I guess they've been leaking for a while and we couldn't figure out where the hell the mold smell was coming from and well, that's where it was that it came from. But yeah. More to come on air guns, I guess. Like I said, I gotta get the 2240 finished. I gotta get the gas tube on it, and I gotta get the 18 inch barrel on it. I'm just waiting for uh, the shroud mounts, and then I can go to town because I got everything I need for it now. All the parts, all the screws, everything, everything to mount the shroud. It's part of the other reason I got the, the, the stainless scrub screws to mount the the shroud supports to the barrel and then put the shroud over top of the, the supports and then I got the, the black screws for the for the bottom of the shroud so yeah that'll end this video see you later